IEBC Commissioner. Abigulai I, has detailed how Azimio Lamoa leaders and the National Security Advisory Council attempted to influence the outcome of the August 9 polls in hours leading to the announcement of William Ruto as president-elect. In an affidavit filed at the Supreme Court on Saturday, August 27, Gulai I expressed that Azimio Executive Director, Rafael Tuju, and former Busia Senator, Amos Wako, offered gifts to IEBC Chairperson, Wanyanyi Wafula Chebukati, and the commissioners if they moderated the results in favor of Rayla Odinger. Gulai I documented that the duo and a third party, Carlo Mbobu visited Chebukati at 3 a.m. on the day the results were to be announced. He added that the team explained that there was a need to moderate the results for the sake of the country's peace and stability. Gulai I added that Wako, a former attorney general, confessed to having moderated election results in the past to favor the ruling government. Wako, according to Gulai I, expressed that moderation would favor the country as a Ruto presidency would have plunged the country into chaos. Additionally, Gulai I added that all the commissioners were present at the meeting with the four dissenting commissioners agreeing with the Azimia team. However, he stated that together with Chebukati and Boyamulu, held different opinions. Additionally, Gulai I expressed that the commissioners received a delegation from the National Security Advisory Council in the hours after the Tuju and Wako meeting. He explained that the top security officials told the commissioners that they had weighty issues to discuss with them as the country's stability was dependent on the actions they would take in the hours leading to the declaration of the president-elect. The commissioner indicated that the delegation was led by Kennedy Kihara, Principal Administrative Secretary at the Office of the President, and was made of Kennedy Aghetto, Solicitor General, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutyambai and Lieutenant General Francis Omundiogola, Vice Chief of Defense Forces. Gulai I expressed that the four dissenting commissioners held a similar view even as they opposed any attempt to subvert the will of voters. He then revealed that upon being handed over the results hours after meeting the Security Council team the commissioners led by Chiru insisted that the results be moderated as per the advice of the security team. The commissioner indicated that the Chebukati declined to heed to their demands and proceeded to announce Ruto as the president-elect.